space. Can anybody take somebody in spirit that had to do with, um, I get an Elvis Presley lo lover and I keep hearing the name Priscilla. Now, this is just very random, but I figured I'd throw it out there. Um, would somebody have had uh, somebody in spirit that was really into Elvis? Would they have named somebody Priscilla? You can take that. Okay, well, can, okay, you can take that. All right, well, let's let's give it a shot. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, can you come? Hi. Hi, honey, how are you? I'm okay. I know okay. it's weird, Elvis Presley and the, yes. Okay. Um, so what is with Priscilla? Why did I hear that name? Does that, that make is sense? An, that's an aunt. That's actually her name. Was she named after Priscilla Presley? That whole family actually, uh, yeah, it's huge. They actually, one of the houses in the family is actually built to replicate Elvis's white house. It's a big yeah, my, that side of the family is very uh, Elvis. It's Elvis. Yeah. I really like, almost started to get off my chair. Yeah, <laughs> to the extreme. Yeah. Yeah, but it's there. I like them. I mean, they're fun and they're nice. And I feel like um, they're around you. They're telling me that you are going through a little bit of a, a, a rough patch. Very but nice. they're telling me to tell you it's getting so much better for you. Um, and let me... Um, so uh, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's Priscilla? That's it, 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 was, it, was an, uh, it was an aunt. Okay, she's around you. I feel like when I feel into her energy, I feel like forget the Elvis connection. She's she's fun. She I is. feel like she would be really fun, and she's trying to um, bring up your energy. She's trying to like bring you up, and she's telling me, "Will you tell this girl that we're making it happen?" So I feel like you're working on something or trying something different. They're helping you make it happen. And for, you know, privacy issues, I'm not going to go into it. Um, but if you want to book me for private, I would love to help you some more for this. But um, for, for, you know, for just going here, she's telling me play music. She's, she's telling me music is going to help you. And I feel like that's why they're coming in talking about Elvis, talking about like feel into that side of the family a little bit, even though they're, they're a little eccentric. These people know how to have like that joy factor. And that's what they're telling me is gonna really, really help you. Put your ear pods in and play music. Even if nobody in the house wants to hear music right now, if there's like a moodiness in your home, just put those ear pods in. Does this make sense for you? Yeah, it's just odd that that family is coming through with what I'm going through. Because, yeah. Sweetheart, they know better than I know. No, I, I know. Hear it first. They know what you're going through. And she's like, you're not alone. You feel alone, but you're, you're not alone. You've got like a whole Presley, a whole Presley fan club over there working on you, helping you through this time. Um, she's got a dog. She says she's got a dog. Would you have had a dog that crossed over as well? Yes. She's got your dog. And I feel like that dog for you um, helped you get up in the morning, feed the dog, walk, like you were the only one kind of taking care of the dog at the time. And she's telling me to tell you that she's got your dog. So I feel like you got a little fan club over there. Um, who would be a teacher? A That's teacher. Me. Okay. She's telling me you're doing better than you even know you're doing. She's talking about you teaching and really doing, making a difference. And people really need you. People need you in, in around you. The people that you affect around you, they really do need you. So you need to like hang in there. Um, I would talk to her, ask her for help, ask her for, um, Ask her for signs. I feel like she's given you feathers. Do you find feathers? No. Okay. She's given you signs. It's either pennies or feathers, but she's going to start dropping things around your house. So you know that you're connected with her because she's thinking of you. You know, when I talk to spirit, I talk to people that people have never even met, like great grandparents. And people go, I never knew them. I didn't have a relationship with them. 
their DNA. So they're here to watch over you on some level. So even if you weren't close in life, she sees what you're going through and she's giving you a big hug. And she also is a baker. I'm just going to say that. I don't know if you remember this about her. I don't. I know that they used to cook a lot. A lot. And she's um, she's baking up a storm over there. They also would get to, like, big, I feel like this would be a big family. And they're, like, having a lot of parties. They're doing a lot of picnicking. And they're telling me that you're part of the family. Like, you've got, whether you don't have support here, You've got like this whole family supporting you in spirit. Like she's got the biggest mouth and she's rallying everybody up for you. And she's literally picking you up and pushing you off your seat to get you to make the move. This is what she keeps saying. You're going to make the move and you're going to be taken care of. So you almost have to have like that feeling inside of you that I'm taking care of and I'm going to do this. Okay, yep. does that make sense?